Okay, so this is what the bassinet looks like, or bassinest. So this is the Halo bassinest. Down below, um, this is the stand, and it can be adjusted to any height. So right now, I have it just right at about the same height as my bed. And I've got my baby in it. He's five months old right now. This is what a five-month-old baby looks like inside of it so he's just about too big now at this point um so it's got the mesh netting which is really nice you can see right in there and see your baby this bar also comes down when you push down on it so that you can easily like lean down and um soothe your baby or pull him out from here you can also lock this bar i've never done that i always leave it flexible here are the here's like the control center I think they call this the soothing center um, this one is the light so since it's bright in here it's a little bit hard to see but it's two little lights and during the night it's actually really bright and I would turn this on all the time when he was sleeping just to check on him this is nature sounds or lullabies so you can kind of click it and change to different music I never actually used the music on here um, then this is a nursing timer so this you can turn it on when you start nursing so this will sound after um, so many minutes so that way you don't actually accidentally fall asleep nursing your baby um, this is a feature that I never used either but it is nice. And then this is the vibrate feature. This is what I use the most. This and the light were my two favorites. So you turn that on and it vibrates the bassinet. And he really liked that. If he was crying, I could turn on the vibrate button and it would kind of soothe him. And there's two levels of it. And everything also turns off on its own after about 10 minutes. So the light, the vibrate, the music, it will all turn off on its own. So you don't have to worry about it running all night. The inside is just a thin, you can see how thin it is, just a thin waterproof pad with a, it comes with a sheet as well, which is also waterproof. So I made the mistake of buying an extra set of sheets and it ended up not being waterproof. So I would suggest just keeping the one that it comes with. It honestly is the best sheet is the one that comes with it. And I don't know if they sell it separately. I wasn't able to find this exact one. So this is the best one. And on each side there is our little pouches. So I think they also make um, an accessory pouch for it. I would suggest not getting that because these are just as good. And then they also make a, um, what is it called? A mobile to go over it as well. So we don't have either one of those. But the pouches are great. Inside this pouch, I've got a couple hats. In case they uh, choke or anything in the middle of the night, you can have this handy. Yeah. On the other side, I've got lanolin. Another hat. I always kept pacifiers in here too. And then I also kept a burp cloth in there. So this is kind of how it looks and it swivels very easily. So this is how it is up against the bed and then you can push down and reach in and then when you're getting out of bed it's super nice because you can just swivel it. I would swivel him around 
You can change his diaper inside of there. It's really, really great. Okay, so just a few more things that I'd like to add in. The soothing center did break on me twice. The first time it broke, the vibrate button stopped working. I contacted the company and they sent me a new one for free, no charge, and then it broke again a second time. And the second time they sent me a new one free of charge and they wanted the old one back and then they also sent a complimentary uh, sleep sack, which is what my baby is wearing right now. So after reading some reviews on Amazon, I realized that a lot of people seem to have that issue with the soothing center breaking, um, whether it was the light, the vibration, or the music. Something always seemed to break on it. So my recommendation would be to save yourself, I think is it 30 or $50. There's one that's 200 and there's one that's 250 I believe. And the one that's only 200 actually does not have the soothing center on it. That's the only thing it's missing. I think that I would rather just not get the soothing center. I don't think it's worth the extra $50 with the trouble that I had with it. Um, I do think, however, it is worth the money. I think it is amazing. I, I never tried anything else, but I like the height of it. I like that it swivels in and out from your bed. I love the mesh so that you can see your baby. Um... And I love that it collapses a little bit. I just overall really, really liked it. I like that it was right next to me at all times versus a rock and play or something else where you might have to get up and actually go walk over to it. This made it super simple. I kept my baby in this for the first four months of his life. And now he's five months old. We haven't been using it for the last month because he's a little bit big for it. And I also just kind of wanted to transition him into his own bedroom. But like I said, with the soothing center, I only use the vibration and the light. So I think that with it breaking a couple times, if I did it over again, I would just buy the basic one without the soothing center. All in all, I think it's a really great product. If you're looking at it and kind of on the fence, I would definitely get it. I do think it is pricey though, but I'm definitely going to use it for my next babies. And I'm super glad that we got it. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys have the Halo Bassiness, let me know what you like about it. And thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you if you were looking into this product. And check out some of my other videos if you're new to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.